Every fan of Chicago Drill knows the top BD rappers like King Von and Lil Durk, but some of their ops are just as famous in the city based on their reputation in the streets. 051 Melly was one of Von and Dirk's main enemies and had a reputation as being one of the most feared gang members in Chicago. Let's take a close look at the life of 051 Melly, one of the deadliest shooters in Chirac's history. Melly was born Yarmel Williams and came up on the south side of Chicago. He grew up in the Calumet Building or Randolph Towers, but eventually moved to 59th in Calumet with his family after the project was torn down. He grew up with his mother, his brother Wu, and his sister Kenya. Wu's father and Melly's stepfather, Jerome Golden, was a well-known BD in Chicago who is currently serving a life sentence for four murders and a robbery. Plus, Melly also had several uncles and cousins who were well-connected to the streets, including Mubu Kurt Mack and No Limit G Slim, who was one of the founders of NLMB. So Melly was exposed to gangs from a young age and nearly everyone around him was about that life. But just because your family is well known in the streets doesn't mean that you'll automatically get respect from them too and Melly still had to earn his title as a respected savage. Growing up in the Calumet building, Melly got cool with the BDs who claimed the area, but he would later attend Deucible High School where he would start mixing in with Mickey Cobras. Melly would get close to a dude named 051 Zico who was part of the 051 Money Gang. 051 Money Gang is a set that's made up of members of different gangs including BDs, Black P-Stones, and Mickey Cobras so Melly fit right in with all his affiliations. Although Melly started out as a BD, there have also been rumors that he may have switched to Mickey Cobra because 051's main ops are O-Block, 600, Lamron, and other BD sets. Melly would get involved in this beef, making him BDK, or a renegade BD, for going at war with members of his own gang. What was clear is that Melly repped Young Money, which was considered a renegade squad that lived by their own rules and didn't follow any particular gang. Melly would get even closer to the set after 051 Zico was murked by someone from THF. This was the murder that would turn Melly into a savage and made him turn up in the streets. 051 Zico's death would set off a major beef between Young Money and THF, with Melly being one of the main aggressors. He would get retaliation for Zico's death in 2010. Then, a 600 member named M Thang would kill a member of Young Money named 051 T Streets, setting off a war with 600 and any sets they were allied with. Melly and 051 Kiddo would then get revenge, shooting 600 Shaq on the 5900 block of South Calumet Avenue. So at this point, Melly had a few bodies under his belt and would establish himself as a fierce shooter who wouldn't hesitate to hit members of his own gang if they went after his friends. What made Melly so different was that he had connections to various gangs across the city. But when it came time for war, he didn't care who was on the other side. Many claimed that he played the streets like a chess game, paying close attention to who was close with who, stalking his ops on social media, and carefully studying their movements to get the drop on them. After 600 Shaq was killed, the BDs got their revenge by killing a 14-year-old from 051 named Fats. Melly was close to Fats and his murder really affected him, turning his heart colder and making him even more of a savage. 051 would start going by the name Fats World after he was killed to honor their fallen brother the way that Oblock did for Odie Perry or Tukaville did for Tuka. Melly's homie 051 Kiddo would take part in getting revenge for Fats' death. First, 051 Kiddo would catch 600 tricks lacking in his car in the Washington Park neighborhood of the South Side. Then, a witness claimed to have seen tricks, C Day, and LA Capone from 600 at the scene on the day that Fats was killed. Not long after that, L.A. Capone would be murdered leaving a recording studio. He was one of the biggest stars from 600 and was just starting to blow up as a rapper. So his death was a serious setback for the crew, which would only make things between the BDs and 051 much more heated. Several dudes from 600 started going at Melly on Twitter and disrespecting Fats. Like many street dudes from Chicago, Melly was known for being disrespectful on social media and clapped back at his ops. Members of 600, who were still mourning the death of L.A. Capone, took this disrespect personally, making Melly one of the BD's most hated ops. Soon after, the BD's would get retaliation. At first, 051 didn't have many rappers and were known for getting their payback in the streets rather than in the music, but a rising young money rapper named Lil Mark would earn some clout for sending shots at the BD's, who at that point were much more famous on a music level. Lil Mark dropped a remix of Lil Durk's song, Competition, called No Competition, where he did several members of 600, OTF, Lamron, and other BD sets by name. Still angry over the death of L.A. Capone, the BDs got their revenge pretty quickly, and Lil Mark was killed just three days after dropping the diss. To make things even worse, 
Lil Mark's death was then used as a way to mock 051 with members of 300, 600, and OTF joining in to disrespect their homies. The rapper was killed while waiting for a bus. Several BDs posted pictures and videos to social media near the bus stop where he was killed, including Lil Durk, who posted a video at the spot Lil Mark was shot. In the video, he says, This bus stop right here, though, this is a real famous place, with the caption, Free THFTP. Bus stop, man. Hey, this, this, hey, 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 this bus stop right here, though, this, this, this is a real famous place, you hear me? This is a real famous place. Hey, this bus stop, this is a real famous place. That video would get to Melly, who was close with Lil Mark, and would eventually lead to him to seek revenge on some of the people closest to Dirk. A few months later, Melly would watch Dirk's cousin, OTF Nunu, or Nooski, sitting in a parked car outside of a shopping complex. Nooski was an up-and-coming rapper who had just been signed to Dirk's OTF label a few days before he was killed. He had released a single called OC that was doing major numbers, and he seemed like he might be the next rapper from the South Side to build a buzz. But he never got to realize his full potential and was tragically killed due to his associations with Dirk. He was sitting in one of Dirk's SUVs at the time, and many think that either Melly thought he was shooting at Dirk, or he just went looking for the rapper and killed his cousin because he was an easier target. Either way, Nooski lost his life, even in the score between 051 and OTF 600 after Lil Mark was killed. But Melly didn't stop there. Less than a year later, Dirk's manager, OTF Chino, was shot and killed in a similar situation while sitting in a parked car in the 8400 block of South Stony Avenue. Before he was shot, Chino had appeared in the music video for a song called Bus Stop by THFTP, which was filmed on the spot where Lil Mark was killed. Around the same time, Dirk also sent shots at 051 on a remix to Chief Keef's Finito, where he rapped, I'm riding through the ops, finna go and shoot young money up. Melly clearly wasn't gonna tolerate the disrespect and slid on Chino the first chance he could get. If that wasn't bad enough, after Chino was killed, Melly would get on social media and mock his dead op, claiming in an IG live session that he was eating a Chino burger. Just let me a piece. Yeah, Chino burger, that's what they said. Melly's homie, Mubu Crump, a GD from King Louie's Man Up Band Up set would also join in on the disrespect, going to the spot Chino was killed to order a Chino burger, then throw it away. Hey, this motherfucker focus as hell, man. Y'all, this shit ain't done, man. Y'all done put this shit back on the grill, man. This shit disgusting, man. Get this shit together, man. For real, this shit focus as hell, man. Straight up, man. That made two people close to Dirk who were killed in his beef with 051, and Melly became the target of his hatred. The rapper dropped several diss tracks aimed at Melly, but at that point, Dirk was taking over the rap game, and Melly was still heavily in the streets, so it wasn't easy for either one to get at each other directly, which is why Melly chose to target Nooski and Chino. It was even rumored that Dirk put a price on Melly's head, which eventually led to him getting hit up. THF Raheem would slide on Melly and two of his homies on the 600 block of South Wentworth Avenue in the Eaglewood neighborhood. All three would survive, but Melly would catch a bullet to the head and foot. 051 Ario, who was also hitting the shooting, would quickly get revenge on Raheem. This opened up a whole bunch of problems for Melly and 051. THF Raheem was the blood cousin of FBG Duck and the stepson of another feared Chirac killer named THF Bezu. Melly and Duck were known to be tight, but Duck also understood that an op is an op, even if it is a family member. THF Bezu and Melly were also ops, but they had mutual respect as rival street legends. They even famously went on IG Lives together and bragged about their body counts while outlining the war between their two sets. But disrespect doesn't equal mercy, and after his stepson was killed, THF Bezu was out for blood. He ended up catching Melly lacking at a house party along with his friend Mubu Crump. The two were standing on the front lawn when the vehicle rolled up and shot them both. Crump was killed, while Melly miraculously survived once again, even though he was grazing the head. So that's twice that Melly would survive a headshot only to be back on the streets, haunting his ops not long after. Although Melly was likely the intended target for allegedly being with Ario when they slid on THF Raheem, Crump was also known to diss THF and other BDs. So he was probably just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and THF decided to take him out for running his mouth and chilling with their ops. Surviving two back-to-back -back shootings only helped Melly's reputation in the streets, and it was only a matter of time before he was back in action. 051 would soon lose another member named Bankroll Q. Melly would be the one to get payback and would slide on the two ops thought to be responsible. But Melly's thirst for revenge couldn't be satisfied and he just kept racking up bodies on top of bodies while somehow staying out of reach of his enemies. Although he got his payback, 
he let it be known that he still had a hatred for Dirk and wanted revenge. After Dirk and Vaughn got arrested for attempted murder following a shooting outside the varsity in Atlanta, Melly went on social media to voice his opinions. He told the world that he hoped Dirk and Vaughn would beat the case because he would rather see them dead than in prison. Let's have a free Dirk and Vaughn. Free them though. I'd rather them dead than in jail. So it seemed like it was only a matter of time before Melly would continue his reign of terror and go after another person close to the two rappers. But Melly wouldn't get the chance and he'd end up losing his life in an unrelated beef. Around that time, Melly had gotten close with a set called Jaro City. Like 051 Money Gang, Jaro City is made up of various different gangs, including GDs and Renegade BDs. After Melly's homie Motor from Jaro City was killed, the gravedigger of Chirac started getting reckless. With so many people close to him dead and so many bodies under his own belt, Melly started to get out of control. His reputation in the streets made him a little too comfortable, which can only lead to disaster when you've got so many enemies. He ended up getting into it with a dude named 007 Nate from Taekwon World over a dice game. Melly responded by shooting up Nate's house while his baby mother and newborn child were inside. No one was hit, but it was enough for Nate to seek revenge. In September 2019, Melly attended a house party that was being thrown by FBG in Jarl City to celebrate the passing of one of Duck's close homies, Can't Get Right. Melly came through to the party because he was cool with both camps, but they let him know that ops from TW may be there. Melly must have felt untouchable because he came through anyway, knowing there were going to be problems. 007 Nate ended up catching Melly lacking and shot him in front of the entire house full of people, with the whole thing being captured on camera. This time, Melly would not be as lucky and died that night. Melly will go down as one of the most feared shooters in the history of Chicago.